Hi guys! Happy Halloween! How you doing? I just wanted to stop in for just a minute and uh, say happy birthday to RV Debs and happy Halloween to everybody else if you celebrate Halloween. This was supposed to be a, a cute picture. I had a pink cowboy hat and a brown cowboy hat for my dogs to wear. No, they wouldn't even wear them long enough for me to take a picture, those party poopers. But um, it's, it's, I've had a good day. My grandkids came by after school to see me. And um, their mom told me that the little boy wasn't feeling good. And I guess he wasn't. He talks a blue streak all the time. He came in the front door, got on my couch, and went right to sleep. <laughs> Never even said a word to us. <laughs> And then my uh, daughter went and got her thermometer, and sure enough, he was running a fever. And then, uh, for me, my cheeks were flushed, and so my daughter uh, checked my temperature, and I was running a fever, too. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I guess we caught the latest bug, and, and it's just cold here. Um, when I got up this morning... About 8 o'clock, I checked the temperature. I forgot what it was. It was like something like 16 or 19. But I do remember the wind chill. The wind chill was 8 degrees. <laughs> and you know what I did? <laughs> I said, come on, dogs. We're going to go get back under the covers in bed. <laughs> and so I binge-watched some more Gene Robertson comedy videos. I love that lady. <laughs> uh, what else is going on? I... Let me, well, I'm going to tell you how I got started on YouTube. Now, yesterday when I told you about my focus, I don't have any focus abilities and my cognitive thinking is all messed up and I can read words, but they don't make any sense. Um, so I have in the past made a video on some subject and then a few weeks later told the same thing in another video. <laughs> And a sub told me, and it did not bother me in the least that she told me that. I just laughed because that's just how life is for me. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I do that all the time with my kids. Uh, I just, my short-term memory is just gone. But anyway, I'm going to tell you how I started on YouTube. If I've already told you all that stuff, just Give me an A for effort thumbs up <laughs> and you don't have to watch. But what happened was last year in December, you know, um, I don't even remember what was going on, but the government was going to shut down. And they said Social Security will not be affected, but I don't trust politicians. <laughs> I don't that they said that you'll still get your Social Security check didn't make me feel any better. Uh, in fact, I got pretty panicky about what in the world would I do if I didn't get my social security check. Um, because I'm one check away from being out on the street again, really. And um, so I wanted to get a plan B and a plan C just in case. Uh, so if that check wasn't deposited on the fourth Wednesday, I would know what to do. And so... I googled living in your car, which was a funny thing to do because I don't have a car. <laughs> um, my daughter and I sort of share a car. The engine was going out on her car. I had an old rattle trap van, and so we sold both of those to get enough money for a down payment on another old car for her. <laughs> And I have insurance on it, so I can drive it, too. And I don't like to drive it because that's her car, and if I wrecked it, oh, we would be in trouble. So, anyway, I don't own a car that's actually mine. And that's she uses that to go to work and go to school and go to church and go to, you know, all kinds of activities. She's gone in it a lot. But if, if there were an emergency, I could drive it. But anyway, I Googled how to live in your car. <laughs> Because living in a tent under the bridge didn't sound very appealing to me. <laughs> and where I live, we have homeless people that live in tents. I mean, a lot, a lot. But I don't want to live in a tent out somewhere. 
So I was going to see, okay, if I didn't get my Social Security check, then maybe my daughter would let me use the car to live in. And I could drive her to all those places, I guess. Anyway, so when I Googled how to live in your car, up came all these YouTube channels. Now, I think I've told you before, I didn't know about YouTube. I, I knew that you could look up how to repair your car or uh, you could listen to music videos. But, so I, I didn't really know that there were people just sharing their stories, that kind of thing. But anyway, Googled how to live in your car, up popped a bunch of women that live in their cars on YouTube. The first one I saw was this lady named Deborah Joy. Real sweet woman. She has a channel. It's just called Deborah Joy. And she was uh, so encouraging to me. In a comment, I said, I'm kind of thinking about starting a YouTube channel. That was had nothing to do with the uh, live in your car thing. Um, about that same time, I had seen my caseworker, and she said something to me. I don't remember what, but it was something like, do you ever go out to eat with friends? And I said, I don't have any friends. And so that kind of stuck up a red flag, I guess. I am in contact with people all the time. I have 10 relatives that I either talk to, see, text, email, you know, every day. I'm in, in contact with people, but as far as having uh, friends, no, I, I don't have any friends. So she told me, well, we got to fix that, and so you need to start making some friends and going out and doing things. Well, after I saw Deborah Joy on YouTube, I thought, okay. I see these ladies, Vivian Kimberlin lives in her van. I watch her all the time. She still lives in her van. Deborah Joy lived in her van for a couple of years, but now she lives in a little mobile home. But anyway, I thought, I have no desire to go out with anybody. If I go to a restaurant, you know what happens? There's all kinds of background noise. I cannot hear the person across the table from me. I cannot hear them. I'm hearing impaired. And... That just causes me frustration. I don't want to have friends that go places because I don't have money to go go out to eat, go to movies, go shopping. I don't have money to do any of those things. Um, I'm happy at home right now. For right now, this is good. But anyway, I got started watching these other ladies that live in their vehicles. Uh, there's one lady, her channel name is Serene and Simple Life, and she lives in a car. Um, anyway, I started watching all those videos, trying to figure out how to do it for my plan B, if I didn't get my social security check and I couldn't pay the rent because I'm one check away. So that's how I got started on YouTube. I, I watched other people's videos for about six months while I was thinking about maybe having a channel. And um, I'm sorry I waited so long. I'm sorry I waited six or seven months. Gail, we've been talking about you getting a YouTube channel. Please just jump in and do it. That's what everybody else told me. Just jump in and do it. <laughs> and I didn't, and I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, from the very beginning, I've wanted to do some videos on living on Social Security. I've watched some that other people have made, and for the most part, they're pretty negative. I mean, they're not all of them, but some of them. And so I want to do a series on living on Social Security that has at least a good bit of positivity in it and tell people what kind of agencies can help you, low-cost meals, just how to get by on just a little bit of money. Because everybody I know on Social Security gets just a little bit. Um... I read somewhere that the average Social Security check is $1,500. <laughs> um, I don't know anybody who gets more than 1000 uh, and a lot that get way less. <laughs> $1,500 would be a dream. Uh, that would just be, I'd be in high cotton if I had $1,500 in Social Security. But anyway, I want to uh, be able to exchange some ideas with people that 
live on Social Security, we can help each other out. And if somebody comes along that hasn't filed for their Social Security yet, it's not that old, maybe this would be a good wake-up call for them and get them kind of prepared for what to expect. Because I wish I had known what to expect. That would, it would either have been scary or helpful. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to go. Hope you had a happy Halloween. I'm going to, going to do the first of my Social Security video tomorrow. I'm just going to make myself. I've wanted to do it all along, but I'm so scared of giving out bad information or discouraging people or, for instance, right now, I'm trying to go through the process during open enrollment of what other insurance I can add to Medicare because if you're not on Medicare yet, it doesn't pay for everything. And it's not free. You pay $136 a month for it. Or, or 134 I don't know. Right at 134 35 36 something like that. Anyway, I'm muddling through trying to figure out if I want to change insurances. I would love to add some insurance, but there is no money to add insurance. So I just can't get sick. I really can't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. Talk to you guys later. Give me a thumbs up if you're uh, so inclined. If you haven't subbed, please sub and hit the notification bell. Have a wonderful day. Leave me a comment. You know, I keep telling you guys I live for those comments. It, it makes me feel like I have friends. It honestly, truly is a wonderful feeling to, because I do have friends. I have a, a bunch of you that email me and leave me comments, and that is just awesome. And I care about you when you don't post a video of your own for a couple of days or you don't leave a comment I wonder if you're okay um, you guys are my friends okay bye